सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप यू आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल एंड दिस इज अ वेरी ऑन मार्स कोड साइड एंड टूडे आई एम हेयर विद अनदर जी एफ दी पी ओ टी डी आई नो द वीडियो लिटल लेट फॉर सो सॉरी फॉर दैट सो टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज सिटी विद स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर ऑफ नेबर्स एट अ थ्रेश होल्ड डिस्टेंस राइट ओके सो द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट इट हैज गिवन यू अ ग्राफ राइट एंड इट इज अनडायरेक्टेड एंड वेटेड अनडायरेक्टेड एंड वेटेड राइट Now, as an input, you have you have to provide you with a distance threshold, right? Let us name it as S, and that is four in this case, right? Okay. Now, as the question suggests, you have to determine the city with the smallest number of neighbors at a threshold distance. Smallest number of neighbors, right? Smallest number of neighbors. Okay. So, if I found the neighbors of zero and that particular distance, so you can see zero is connected to one at a distance three, connected to two at a, at a, at a distance four. Connected to four at a distance, or uh, three plus one plus one, right? Three plus one plus one, that is five. Or two options are there: three plus four, that is seven. So I will take the smallest distance, that is five. For one, one is connected to zero at a distance three. Two is connected to distance. Uh, one is connected to two at a distance. Let me rub it. Yeah. Two is connected to distance. One is connected to two at a distance one. Smallest distance I'm counting, right? Smallest distance. Four with a distance of four or two, so I will choose two, like this path, right? So I will choose two. Okay. What about two? Two is connected to zero at a distance four. Connected to one at a distance one, and connected to distance four at a distance one, right? Okay. So now it says the threshold distance is four. So we have to discard all the distances that are greater than or equal to four. so i will have to discard this okay now rest of the are very less like okay so rest of the are already in the limit of threshold right okay but the answer is to be the smallest number of neighbors so zero has neighbors 1 and 2 at a distance 3 and 4 respectively one has neighbors 0 2 4 at a distance 3 1 4 respectively two has neighbors 0 1 4 at a distance 4 1 1 respectively now the number of neighbors of zero that are valid are 2 for one it is 3 For two, it is three, right? You can see, according to the question, zero should be our answer because it has smallest number of neighbors. It has smallest number of neighbors. So I hope you are able to distinguish between input and output now, right? So let us move to the approach one. Approach one. So as I always say, the approach one should be the brute force approach. So the brute force approach. So. whenever you have to find the like whenever you encounter a graph question it is 95% of time solved by either using bfs or using dfs right now you can see that we want to find the shortest neighbors right shortest distance neighbors right so what algorithm should we use here obviously bfs by because we are traversing level wise so we will be using bfs here right so my steps are for each node start bfs right for each node start bfs and store the distance of the node from each node from each node whichever distances are within threshold are within threshold increase the count increase the count right so what i am doing is i have my graph as 0 connected to 1 connected to 2 connected to 4 this is uh, let me see this is 3 4 1 1 right 3 4 1 1 so both are start the bfs for 0 right my bfs for bfs for 0 will start with 0 0 it will connect me to 1,3 it will connect me to uh 1,4 sorry 4, 3 plus 4 that is 7 and uh 2, 3 plus 1 that is 4 right so my distance from 0 to 0 is 0 distance from 0 to 1 is 1 distance from 4 to 7 is 4 right now distance from 2 to 4 uh 
distance from 0 to 2 is 4 right now right now this 2 will give me 4 at a distance of 5 this 2 will give me 4 at a distance of this is 7 here at a distance of 5 so I will update a distance of 4 and it will become 5 right okay and similarly I will traverse it for 1 for 2 for 4 right okay and then I will find which I will give him the least number of neighbors right okay so I don't guess there is any problem but the time complexity time complexity is greater here what is the time complexity so you have to traverse n nodes right you have to tr do the BFS travel for all the n nodes right okay and you a tra BFS travel will take O of n plus m time that is O of n edges with uh, uh, n nodes with m edges right okay so that time complexity becomes n into n plus m so uh, it is a square right, square square time complexity so our approach should now appro now our approach should be to optimize it so we'll be using Jaxtra for that how did I think of Jaxtra I thought of Jaxtra by this example whenever I was talking you that I have to take the shortest distance so a thing come to my mind that if I find the shortest distance from each node so 0 1 2 4 3 1 1 4 this was a graph right if I Jaxtra of all of them so zeros Jaxtra will give me a graph with 0 1 2 4 as 4 oh sorry this will be 0 4 and 4 plus 1 5 and 4 plus 1 plus 1 6 or 4 plus 1 so it will be 6 right and for 1 it will be 0 1 2 4 right so 1 will be 0 it will be 4 here and for 2 it will be 1 and for 4 it will be 2 right for about 2 it will be 0 1 2 4 from uh, 2 to 2 it is, it is 0 from 2 to 0 it is 5 from 2 to 1 it is 1 from 2 to 4 it is again 1 and for 4 you can it is your homework to tell me the answer of this array for 0 1 2 4 in the order in the comment section below right so after I use the Jaxtra I can now traverse each of these arrays I can now traverse each of these arrays and find out the number of distances the number of nodes which are at the threshold which are in the given limit of the threshold right and then I will select the answer from that so I can see that I have my array as 0 1 2 4 corresponding to 0 I have 1 2 3 corresponding to 1 I have 1 2 3 4 corresponding to 2 I have uh, 1 2 3 right and corresponding to 4 that is your answer to be given okay now after this whichever is the uh, shortest uh, whichever is the smallest number of neighbors I will select it right you would have said why don't you select 0 0 and 2 all both of them are giving 3 I would say that in the question it is mentioned that if the smallest city has uh, like 3 is coming twice here right 3 is coming twice in that case I have to return with the higher label so in that case I will have to return 2 because 2 is actually greater than 0 so in that case I will have to return the higher node higher node right so I hope the algorithm was clear to you what is the time complexity here so time complexity is I am traversing it n times and the, the n into the extra time complexity now tell me the complexity in the comment section below right okay so I hope this would have worked for you now going to the code right so this was the code that was that was working fine right okay so let me change the ink and yeah so first what we do we had been given edges as a adjacency list right vector of vector int so first we converted into it it was an adjacency matrix sorry we converted it to adjacency list for better understanding then we declare a distance what is this holding this is actually holding uh, the number of nodes for a particular node that are, that are in the value right okay then distance of i becomes the extra for that node and then we declare our answer as int max i index as minus one now for int i this one is declaring that like zero has three one has four two has three right and four has something that you will provide me in the answer right okay so what it is doing it is going to zero it says three and it is less than answer yes so zero is my answer right now 
it goes to 1 it sees 4 is there an answer no 2 greater than 0 less than equals to answer yes so 2 is my answer now for 4 it will you will tell me if it works or not then and i will at last add it on index right so this is my driver code this is my driver code right this is my function of the jaxtra right simple jaxtra it is you can search over the on internet there are multiple videos present on jaxtra it is a very famous algorithm for finding the shortest path so priority queue queue dot push src distance matrix storing the distance from the source node to every other node distance of source is to be declared zero because source to source is actually always zero the smallest distance now while the queue is not empty int node equals to queue dot top queue dot pop that is simple we have the node that is to be explored right now now in the adjacency list if the distance already existing at that node is act, is greater than distance of node plus weight right for plus weight then distance will be updated and then we will push the another node we will push that node again right for other distances right and then i will get all the distances then i will just return the number of nodes which are within the threshold right using this loop i am what i am doing is if distance of i is less than equals to k that is the threshold c plus plus that is count plus plus right so this is the whole code I hope you were able to understand, please understand my uh, importance right now, I don't have much time so I am making this video in a jiffy and hope you will understand. Thank you guys for watching and we will meet tomorrow with a new question and sorry for today for bringing the video late, uh, out late and not explaining the question at a great extent right. But if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you are able to understand the algorithm. Thank you for watching, bye.